This is similar to companies where they have images too. We call it a brand. Teams working together when they are coherent to the company's self-image are way more effective. They are all pulling in the same direction. And the company succeeds when the image of the employees are on the same path. They are stronger together. They will improve their performance by being collectively unified, thus effectively solving and creating better solutions and making the company more productive and effective. See, the whole organization will grow when teams work together. Everyone wins, individually and collectively. Professionally, when sports teams work together, professionally, when sports teams work together, they will win and have fun. They are creating and not competing, and the results and spirits are high. You will see the powerful team spirit with giving souls that are helping each other. They keep on growing personally and together, winning and cooperating, and this is more powerful than working alone. That's why teams that work together grow together. That's why good companies have good teams, good corporations, good brands. They last. doesn't matter who comes and goes. The brand is there. The culture is there. So that image is within the brand, okay? That's what I'm teaching you here. There's a lot impact, impacted here in like two, three paragraphs. Now, what did I learn from this? Because this is what I studied with Bob, right? So I'm writing here my notes and my learning on how I shifted and how so you can learn how to shift yourself. So what did I learn about self-image? Finally, self-image is about attitude. You can always improve it and move higher. Individuals and teams cannot surpass their results with a low self-image. To win big, their self-image should be large, powerful, and beautiful, which will give results that really count. And that is living instead of dying, creating instead of disintegrating. And again, the outside world is the result of what's going on on the inside. Live the life you really want to live. Live that picture and become that person. Self-image is the key to get the change that you want. If you're not getting what you want, it's because your self-image has not changed, period. If you haven't been listening, and if this is just you just coming in on board right now, listening to the replay, listening to the recording, if your results are not where you want them, it's because your self-image has not changed. Your inner self has not changed on the outside so that your self-worth moves. Five questions to ask yourself to improve your self-image, five questions. How do you see yourself in your role right now? Question number two, what is the opinion that you have of yourself? What's your opinion that you have of yourself? You have to ask yourself that question. What's the opinion that you have of yourself? You have to have yourself, you cannot depend on somebody else, right? Number three, are you a supporting cast or do you see yourself as the star in your own movie? Are you a supporting cast or do you see yourself as a star in your own movie? You have to know which position you want to take. Are you holding back because lack of confidence? Because many people do. Many people hold back because of that lack of confidence. Do you have that lack of confidence? How do you think others see you? And how much do you really care, right? How much do you really care? I'm going to write that down. Now, what's the takeaway? I have a couple of takeaways, but I'm going to give you the one, the, the most important one. You currently have certain beliefs about yourself, which are influencing your actions. These actions are towards you, the world, and others. Together, these are impacting your beliefs about the world and others, which is causing other actions towards us in the world. And this reinforces your beliefs and your current results. So you have to start learning how to change this this beliefs theory right and we're going to get into the attitude section of this book where we really get you thinking about that next level right because it all has to do with your beliefs see it's a self-fulfilling prophecy it's a self-fulfilling prophecy first you there are some kind of beliefs that you have second you have a certain kind of actions right and then these there's these actions about around us and then there's the other actions around you so your results are a reflection of the image that you have Change the image will change the results. But how do you change quickly? How do you change quickly so that it starts working for you? Like I said, it's working for me. It's working for the clients. But on my fourth goal now, it's like I'm stretching really big because it's a very big goal. We have to get that big goal achieved. How do I show them that the statement? I double down on the study, systematic study, elite level mentorship, and accountability. Boom. You have how to do it. Okay. Now listen up. Get a pen. This is how to do it. And this is right on page 95. 
right here for you. So don't worry if you missed it. Just get the book. It's right on page 95. Grab this. Take a snippet of this. Take a picture of it and grab it. It's page 95. This is very important. This cost me oh, thousands of dollars. You sit down quietly, and with your intellect, you see yourself as you want to be. And then you hold on to that image. So you see, we think in pictures. So you sit down quietly, and you hold with your intellect, and you see yourself as you want to be, and then hold the image. Write it down in the present tense. Yes, sit down and relax, and imagine yourself there. Imagine reality. Live the part. Read the script. Make yourself a positive, amazing script of yourself. Become that. Totally relax. Communicate effectively. Learn how to act your script and your life. That's how simple it is. It's in one paragraph, but it's loaded because most of it you won't be able to do because you don't believe that you can. So we go back to working on lesson one, getting your beliefs where they need to be. It's lesson one in my training here. Lesson one, your beliefs. What beliefs you have to get rid of? What beliefs you have to build so you can achieve that goal? You can begin living the life you want to live and be healthy, happy, and wealthy. This image controls you. Trust me, this image is also controlling me. Every one of us has a different image. How you walk, how you talk, how you live your life. Hold that picture often. Love yourself. This is not conceit. See yourself where you want to be. Start becoming the main actor in your movie. So you see, I'm giving you the questions, but I'm also giving you the answers. Because I wanted to make it easy for you. I didn't want to make it complicated. There's already enough complications out there that nobody understands. So I want to make it simple for you so that you can start having the success that you deserve. So that you can start getting it. Right? Why should it take you too long? It took me long enough. It took me 25 years. You should get it quick this year. But here's the thing. You have to make a decision about your life. You have to build your life. Become a good student by following the program here and the directions I'm giving you. Go into your heart and not into your head. See, if you do things logically, it's not going to happen. You have to do things illogically. What I'm teaching you is illogical. It's not logical. If it was logical, they would have taught it in school. It's not logical. It's illogical. See, in school, everything is logic. This is illogical. And this is the difference that I want you to get. You have to make decisions before anything good happens. Remember, with every failure, there's a lesson. And you are getting closer to success. More resources can be found on this website, thinkingintoresults.com. More resources can be found on this website, thinkingintoresults.com. You've got to go there and grab them. It's going to be for free. It's going to be, I don't know how many hours, but the team is putting it together. There's going to be over 30 days of training. There's over 100 days of beautiful emails just for you so that you can start on this journey. Now, extra points to drill the self-image home. Uh, we won't go into the extra points. We just want you to get it, okay? Now, at the end of every chapter, I have my main takeaway, and I have a little workout program for you so that you can start doing the things, okay? So the result that you are achieving are a direct reflection of the image of yourself you are holding. So your direct results are the image that you're holding. Hence, if you're not happy with the results, ask yourself, what have I been thinking? So it's all a matter to do with your thinking. All of it, right? Improve the image and the improvement will automatically be reflected in your results. So just look at your results. And if you're not happy with them, it's because of that image. It's that simple, but it's hard to accept. It's hard to believe that it is that easy. See, it is that easy. But you have to accept an idea. Are you willing to accept an idea? And then uh, I have a section here in this book where you can write your goal. You can write something because this is like a work through book. It's not just so I want you to write your goal. You write down your goals a few times. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am. And then you write your goal. Okay, so then I finish with, I am worthy, I am love, and so be it. Amen. And you can write your goals a few times. So I wrote it a couple times. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am. Then I write my goal. Okay, and then after we study, I have another section for you. So you can put down the ideas that you need, yet you're getting. What ideas are you getting? Because you will be getting ideas. You will be getting ideas when you study with me. And these ideas are like 
God speaking to you, right? It's giving you that download. So that's the idea on self-image and self-worth. There's obviously more to it. If you really in, in, enjoyed this, uh, reach out, look up, uh, you know, where I'm at and you can connect, you know how to do that. And like I said, many of these videos are going to be available on the site. So once you go to the website, there's, there's, there's going to be a connection where you can get it. Now, I want to leave you with this. Because on top of studying this, right, this is what you get. I've been reading with this Maxwell Maltz Psycho Cybernetics, and it is just phenomenal. It is just phenomenal. There's, there's one section here about uh, success that let's see if we can find this little paragraph that I want you to, to, to see. Let's see. All right. So this is, a, this is a beautiful book about self-image. I'm just going to give you a couple of things from it. Your mind is set. And once you unlock that set point, you will unlock that self-worth and you will unlock that self-image. Do the questions, do the homework, do what I'm asking you to do, and you're going to find yourself in a whole much better situation. But think of these two things. I'm going to give you two out of five. And I'll give you the three next time. You have a built-in success mechanism that must have a goal or target. The goal or target must be conceived of as or as if already in existence, either in actual or potential form. It operates by either steering you towards a goal already in existence or discovering something already in existence. So your success mechanism, your mind must have a goal that you have to set your mind to. And that's the thermostat. That is the target that you want. Point number one. Point number two, the automatic mechanism is teleological, and that's your mind. So your creative mechanism is teleological. It's just your mind, okay? Thanks, African Onite, for liking the live, and thanks, Carmen. Thanks, I appreciate you for being here. Uh, this mechanism is teleological. That is, it operates or must be oriented towards end results. So that's why we said act as if, act apart. Start seeing yourself there. You see, they already figured out this information a long time ago, but nobody does it. Nobody wants to do it. It just seems weird. And we start doubting ourselves. And just like I said at the beginning, just because my fourth goal is taking too long to achieve, so what? I still believe it's going to happen. It's going to happen and it's happening. So do not be discouraged because the means whereby may not be apparent. It might not be happening for you. It is the function of the automatic mechanism to apply the means whereby when you supply the goal. So supply the goal and the mechanism will give you the means. Think in terms of the end result and the means whereby will often take care of themselves. So beautiful. Like we can stop right here, right? So if you want to read this, take a snapshot of this and get yourself uh, really oriented because this is what's going to help you really become that next person. This page here on and in this book as well, page 31 is incredible. I have a whole lecture on it, okay? So just become that part. It's so critical. Now, here's the last point I want to make. Connect with me and reach out if you want to get the whole recording and the replay, and I suggest you do so. But the means by which your success mechanism works often take care of themselves and do so effortlessly when you supply the goal to your brain. The precise action steps will come to you without stress, tension, or worry about how you are going to accomplish the results you seek. Many people make the mistake of interfering with their success mechanism. by demanding a how before a goal is clearly established. After you have formed a mental image of the goal you seek to create and how you will come to you, not before. Remain calm and relaxed and the answers will arrive. Any attempt to force the ideas to come will not work. Don't force the ideas. Don't think it's by working hard. Wallace Wallace said in the Science of Grand Grinch, we don't get rich by doing things. We get rich by doing things in a certain way. Don't do it by force. Don't do it by pressure. So if you've been trying and if it's not working, there's because some alignment that needs to happen. I want you to get that alignment. I want you to get that thinking right so you can start doing it with ease. But I have a copy of this. Connect with me. Connect with each other. I do have an appointment uh, in three minutes. So I do have to jump. But all this is going to be recorded. All this is going to be available. And I'll keep coming back to you every day for the next few days.
and then we'll pick up another topic in a few days and we'll keep going, right? We're going to keep studying this. It's, it's, it's only 10, 11 chapters, so it's not a lot. And But the first few days, we're reading every chapter fully so that we can have it documented, and then we can start dissecting it, okay? We can start dissecting it. We can start inviting you. We can start having you come on stage. We can start having you come to the Facebook group, whatever it is. But if you want to speed things up and if you really want to become yeah i am i can i will that's awesome laura i am that i am that's pretty cool i love that thank you for the follow by the way laura i'm going to follow you as well and if you want me to follow you and if i have not just send me a message i attempt to but i cannot do all these things at the same time because i'm recording and we got this going and you know, it's a lot of stuff so just send a message say hey please follow me and i'll follow you okay so no big deal and um with that what is what are you going to do with this information What's the one question you're going to ask yourself, like I asked you here, that you're going to follow up on, right? What is that one question? What have I been thinking is the best question that I could think of from this chapter? What have I been thinking? If you're not happy with your results, just ask yourself, what have I been thinking? Thank you, African uh, auntie, for following. Let me see if I followed you. I'm going to follow you as well. What have I been thinking? Because your results are what you've been thinking. So if it's not what you want, what have you been thinking? But how do you correct, right? How do you correct? Let me help you do that. Reach out. I look forward to speaking with you. Thank you so much. Love you all. Blessings. You can do this. I can. I am. I will. I can do this. You can do this. And um, I look forward to speaking with you. Maybe later tonight, perhaps tomorrow morning. We'll see how it goes. And uh, thank you so much. Blessings. Love you.